saying that I'd like to share with you. And that's that the greatest comebacks require the greatest deficits. You see, when I think of historic NBA Finals and historic Super Bowls, what do I think of? I think of the Cleveland Cavaliers being down 3-1 to the greatest basketball team of all time. I think of Tom Brady and the New England Patriots down 28-3 against the Atlanta Falcons. But you know what I don't think about? I don't ever think about Super Bowl 48 when the Seahawks beat the Broncos 43-8. Because who doesn't love a comeback story? So if I want to write ourselves into the history books of Wheel of Mutt, I think we have the perfect script. In our first three games this season, we won only one game. That left us at a record of one and two, meaning one more loss and our entire team is reset. But after last episode and a very quick rage quit, we find ourselves at a record of two and two, which means if I can win three straight games, I will make the playoffs. Then we've got to win the divisional and the NFC championship to make the Super Bowl. And of course, if we win the Super Bowl, then our amazing comeback story is written. But we are very far away from that. Let's talk about the lineup right now. What we got to do in today's episode. Number one, obviously we have to win. Non-negotiable. But as far as upgrading the team, my tackles are golds. They suck. Would love some nice tackles. Wide receivers in the backfield, I don't think are going to get messed with. Unless we get a massive halfback upgrade like 88 overall Bo Jackson. I'm not going to be taking Fred Taylor out. We did just pull Mike Gesicki in a pack. I'm super happy to have him. But honestly, he's still not that good. And his backup is that good. So that could use a little work. DB's got a nice boost last episode too, but we've still got Gold Sherman and an out of position CJ Gardner Johnson. So it's a little wishy washy. Linebackers are improving, but still overall very mid. I still want a faster user than Seau. His 87, maybe Manti Teo. There's a pretty good budget Troy Anderson I'd even take. And then my D line is honestly kind of pitiful. Good thing we have Nick Bosa, prestige player. But other than that, it's Raekwon Davis, Cam Young, and Emmanuel Agnes. All right, y'all, we got a lot to up. Great. It's always exciting spinning the wheel when there's a lot to work on. Our very first win. Oh, darn it. It's the 81s. Campus Heroes. This is a promo they've always done. I'm glad they continue to do it. Players who were studs in college, but not necessarily studs in the NFL. They could have been both, but you know, we got guys like RG3 in here. RG3 was good in the league until he got injured, I suppose. The thing with Campus Heroes though, bro, you gotta give me, you gotta give me Money Manziel. You gotta give me Tim Tebow. I'd take a DeAnthony Thomas. I'd take a Marcus Mariota. There's a lot of good players you could do for this. So we get two of the 81s. So we'll definitely get to fill in some holes here. Jonathan Greenard is probably a nice option. Option. Tyler Medikevich. Is that how you say his name? Looks like a very solid backer. I could use that too. I think I want Iki Aquanu though. So one of the 81s I'm going to get is Ikam Aquanu. Definitely could use a left tackle. This is a plus seven overall boost to left tackle. So we'll start there. And honestly, this is a position I already have, but you guys got to understand just how insane this Eric Stokes is. On the face, he's a 20,000 coin corner. Nothing crazy. Those stats are unbelievable. Coverages are mid, but 87 speed, 87 excel, six foot one. Unbelievable stats on this Eric Stokes. So I feel like I kind of just have to take him for the value. You know, for perspective here, on the left is 83 Charvarius Ward. On the right is 81 Eric Stokes. So we can also take out Sherman and put in Charvarius Ward. And then we'll move Sherman to our depth corner because there are some sets where I actually have six DBs out there, I think. Eric Stokes, that's actually a really big upgrade. I really like the Eric Stokes guard. And then Jamari's gonna come out for Iki Aquanu and O-line boost. That takes us to an 81 overall. So now the O-line really just needs a right tackle, and we're full elites up there, so. Hey, and a great start right there. It's it's two core positions. Nothing insane. The two 81s, I will totally take that. Thank you. Yes, redemption on this. Rookie Premier Jackpot. Okay. We recently picked up Darnell Washington with this wheel spin, and thank God I got it again because I felt so bad that we couldn't win that game. So our options of players to take here is everybody you see here on screen. Right now, I'm not even gonna lie. Kind of looking at Nolan Smith. He's insanely fast with 83 finesse moves. 6'2". He's super good. Dorian Williams is basically Junior Seau. The only other thing I could do here, I think, is like Paris Johnson. It'd be fun to get Paris Johnson because I have him in franchise too, but we did just make a left tackle upgrade. I think I should probably go linebacker here. Keep in mind, Christian Gonzalez is insane too, but I just picked up Eric Stokes, so we should probably round this out with a linebacker. Nolan Smith promoted to my starting left outside linebacker. This is a big episode right here. I'm really liking these additions. Nolan Smith there. Davion Taylor moves down. That is a plus 10 overall boost on left outside linebacker. And we've got one final spin. Hey, and if I can play God mode here, 
I think I would take right tackle. Finish the O-line, and this would be three perfect wheel spins. It's a really good spin, but I'm really scared that we're gonna double up on a position. Okay, 86, 87 blind. You guys know the rules. I'm gonna sort the whole auction house by 86, 87, and I'm just gonna start scrolling. Down, right, down, right, down, right, down, left. Down, down, up, up, loop de loop. Down, down, left, down. Thank God! Oh, wait a minute. Yo, we got AKA Leonard Williams. Dude, he was on Pack and Play Squad too. He's a monster. Oh my God, and the player I went down from would have been a massive Mike Gasicki upgrade. I was sitting on 87 Mike Gasicki and I went down to Leonard Williams. I don't know who's better, but all of them are really, really good. It would have been hard to go wrong here. I, I pretty much, the only way that went poorly is if I got a quarterback or a wide receiver, I'd say. I believe he gets run stuff. As you see here, he'll start the game with the red X lit up. He gets better block shedding versus run plays. It's insanely good against the run. He will blow up every run block. It deactivates itself after three plays. And then I think it needs a couple of plays to charge up too. And right now I have one defensive ability and that's on Junior Seau. So I have the room for this. And I'm gonna use him with instant rebate. This is an ability I have literally never used in my entire life. But successful block sheds give you a pass rush point. And since he'll have that X factor against the run, I imagine he'll get a lot of successful block sheds. He's also an 87 overall, so he should kind of be getting successful block sheds anyway. I imagine this is going to be a pretty nasty card. A massive 87 overall player on the line, two 81s and 84, and of course, our entire season, because if we lose, we reset. So every game from here on out is actually just an absurdly massive game. We're going to put Leonard Williams at left end, since we've already got Bosa, but it doesn't change anything. He still gets his abilities. He just doesn't get his New York Giants chemistry. Literally does not matter to me. And there's defense. The only thing that might be worth looking into is if Nolan Smith gets abilities. He does. I'm gonna give him unstoppable force. I'm gonna give him lumberjack. I've actually been cut sticking a good amount in Madden 24 just because that juke is so powerful. And of course, the challenge wheel. She's been so clutch for us. And if I can complete it, I'll get one of any pack in the store. What do we got? Bro, who is gonna do this? Honestly, like in my head, it's Fred Taylor. Oh, but I just, I know Fred Taylor is gonna drop at least one pass today. It's a very difficult challenge, no doubt. Keep in mind, it's PPR scoring. Every reception is a point. So if Fred Taylor has 55 receptions, he, oh, damn, he's got the RG3. Yeah, damn. So you can see his prime time's got that same AKA X factor. He's starting the game with it activated. We're just gonna go Fred Taylor weak side here. Jerry Rice! Oh, Jerry Rice took his man. But what kind of blitz was that? I couldn't even throw instantly. I'm gonna block Zach Kuntz, and I'm gonna try and hit Jerry Rice here. I just had to get that ball out. I was gonna get sacked. Oh! Jerry! Jerry Rice! Honestly, that wasn't open. I just had to throw it. I was gonna get sacked. Shit, first and 10. Let's go, go on a weak side run. That DB ran right past me. He must have guessed pass or something. Honest, this has been a scary drive. Try and hit Jerry Rice on this whip. Oh, it's there. Another delayed safety blitz. And this is my first full game trying out the new passing system. The way I understand it is passing is basically like a meter in 2K. There's like a, a timing window for you to throw your pass. Maybe our fantasy points go to Jerry Rice. I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to just force feed Jerry Rice though. Like it is, it's really easy to dump that down to Fred Taylor. And I feel like it'll be kind of easy to get Fred Taylor in with a run too, right? Yup, 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 good. No. Oh, we're getting there. Knocking on the door, down to the two yard line. I'm gonna go dive up the middle. He's sitting there with his, yo, somebody. Somebody's gotta block the linebacker in the middle of the run, whatever. That's okay, third and goal. I believe in Fred Taylor. I believe in this O-line. Let's go. Okay, so Fred Taylor right now has a reception. I think one reception, some receiving yards, and a touchdown. So he's already on course for these fantasy points. I think we got to hand it off to Fred Taylor and get two additional fantasy points for the two-point conversion. Here's what we do. As this game continues, we're just going to check in with Fred Taylor's fantasy points. And if he's, like, right on the brink, the next touchdown I'll go for two. Handoff? No. So he does pass out of this. That's good to know. Checks down. Ooh. Shifty movement. All to get suplexed. Dude, those Saints unis are crisp. Halfback? Yep. I'm just going to QB spy underneath. This could be a run, too. This one is a run. 
I've been struggling this year to find a defense that I really like. Why are you chewing clock in the first quarter? Why would you do that? Oh, I need a big hit here. Oh, so, ooh, damn, nice spin. I was trying to clobber him there and I didn't get anything for it. First and 10 right here. Let's see what he goes for. It's gonna go with basically a draw, but this one's going nowhere. I'm gonna guess pass here and go man blitz. Yup, 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 yup. Yup, let's go! Guess pass, play everything. Play everything, Leonard Williams! Oh my God, wait, what? You're just going for this outright? I'm all over this. Say out! Oh, let's go! Turnover on down! An 84 stay out! Make the monster play! Oh, that shit got me amped! Holy shit, this run might be there too. Let's go, Freddy boy. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I didn't mean to truck. I meant to juke there. He's tilted now. Now he's running the cheesiest defense he knows. The good news is I might be able to take the top off him again with Jerry Rice. Oh my god, I think I did. Ooh, I have to get it right now. I got to get Jerry Rice right now. He's there. Oh my god, he fucking torched him. And I got to say, now that I'm using this placement slash accuracy throwing, Kenny Pickett has not missed. Oh, Fred Taylor just caught the ball off of his fucking dope piece. Second and three, I'm going to hand this off. Oh, I ran that so poorly. I, I had the lane. Uh, I'm going to run a whip route out of Jerry Rice just to pick this up. What the fuck? Everything was bottled up. He's running the same thing. I'm going to hit Jerry Rice again for this first down. Cheese your little heart out, buddy. Ooh. Now that's fucked up. Now that's Madden 24 right there. I used the timing throw. Perfect accuracy. How can it, in the same sentence, say perfect accuracy and it can say out of reach? How can it be a perfect throw if he can't catch it? He hasn't scored yet. He might now, but it doesn't matter. I'm winning this ball game. It's going to go with a read option, RG3, and he's swallowed up by Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa, back-to-back -back plays, making some monster stops right there. I just got to go fly to 24. Yup! Yup! Nick Bosa, all three of those plays. That's our prestige player right there. I almost feel like John Mechie's open somehow here. I mean, what a man blitz. Second and 17. I'm chewing clock to kind of like get out of this scenario. Please, 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 please. One more. Big, big. Jerry! Jerry! The fucking go! Jerry Rice! You better be! He's gone! Ball don't lie! Drive fast, eat ass! Oh, there was 20 seconds on that clock. It was gonna be 14 to 0. Ball at half. Talk to me! Jerry Rice! Juke, stiff arm, juke. Oh my god, you ever seen a juke, stiff arm, juke, JSJ? A little jizz? Ooh, okay. I ruined it. Oh, uh, I ruined the moment. Please don't call it that. Jerry Rice is an absolute savage. Jerry Rice had a monster fantasy game there, but it definitely wasn't 55. It kind of sucks. Like a scenario like that sucks because he, he robbed my opportunity to get the challenge wheel. But at the same time, you got to remember last episode. Last episode, my challenge was no turnovers. And since the guy quit, I got that challenge complete. So it works both ways. Either way, I don't get to complete my challenge wheel, but we lock in our player. We move our record to three and two. And wow, for the third time this season. You know what's crazy while I spin this? Oh, I was so close to the, oh, I was so close to the jackpot. There's one jackpot on the rage coat wheel and it's team wheel jackpot. So we're going to do the get a gold player pack five times. We get to choose one player. What I was going to say though, we're three and two. Every, all three wins were rage quits, which I think is crazy. The games that we've lost were one possession games, tough games against tough opponents. And then my wins are all rage quits. I just, it's just a weird like back and forth. I really hope I don't get matched up with a god squad now that's the concern and this is actually already our fifth gold plus player absolute bummer we pulled not shit in those i'll just take a pass in reality what we got out of today's episode is a massive moral victory and some insane players jerry rice just had the game of his career with that last that last play right there is disgusting Iki Aquanu, a great addition to our offensive line and some massive defensive players nolan smith stud junior seau made a diving fourth and ten stop 
Eric Stokes didn't get to do too much today, uh, but Big Cat had a massive TFL on a screenplay, which actually set up the 4th and 10 for Seau, and Nick Bosa single-handedly forced him to punt. All right, boys. Listen, I apologize. That's back-to-back -back rage quits on Wheel of Mutt, but it makes me happy. It puts us in an awesome position to continue to win games. Our new record is 3-2. and two. I can smell the playoffs. We're two wins away from that. We're one loss from being booted. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.